On the channel, I spend a fair bit of time looking at the storage market and hard drives in particular. Solid state drives are definitely the go-to for compute boot devices and local performance, but hard drives are still the clear leader for mass storage when it comes to cost per terabyte, density, and endurance. For NAS storage, the performance difference is often minimal due to network bandwidth limitations and array performance. So where hard drives really start to become compelling is at around to 6 to 8 terabyte range because the cost per terabyte starts to fall on hard disks where it's really starting to accelerate significantly on SSDs. And though the cost per terabyte benefits get stronger as you head towards 20 terabytes, if you have fairly normal mass storage needs and you're budget conscious, 8 terabyte disks are in a bit of a sweet spot. And if you're looking at disks in this range, even for home or small business NAS, then enterprise disks can really be good options. So if we look at where pricing stands as of late November 25, across a range of resellers in the US and UK, including Amazon.com, Amazon UK, Newegg, B&H, and Scan UK, we actually see that enterprise drives are on average about 1% more expensive than the NAS Pro counterparts. And this is across Seagate, Western Digital, and Toshiba. So the pricing is really close right now, though there's some variances by retailer and model. And for example, in Newegg, Red Pros are more expensive than the Gold Drives, and at Amazon UK, the Iron Wolves are a bit more expensive than the Exos. But it does vary day by day. But the takeaway here is that there isn't really much in it. And looking at price data for various sizes, we can see that the price per terabyte drops as capacities go up. And again, there's a little variance, but around eight terabytes is where the price starts to get significantly better. And this is also the price point where not only do SSDs start to get really expensive, but actually you just really can't buy consumer grade SSDs above this size. So eight terabyte hard drives are gonna be the best choice for mass storage. And above this, really the only viable choice. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on comparing the eight terabyte enterprise drives that are available from Western Digital, Seagate, and Toshiba. And in this case, it's gonna be the WD Gold, the Seagate Exos, and the Toshiba MG series. I'm not looking at the Ultrastars here today, but the Ultrastar is broadly the same drive as the Gold in its SATA configuration. And I'm gonna be looking at performance on the different types of workloads, including large mixed workloads. And I'm gonna be looking at noise, and also in power consumption. So in a coming video, I'm also gonna look at the Pro Series NAS and surveillance drives and see how they stack up. And in total, actually, I've tested 18 different eight terabyte drives so far, along with a range of 16, 18, 20, 24s, and 30 terabyte drives also. So if you love data like I do, there's gonna be lots to come. I'll also put affiliate links to the drives below, like price changes often, so you can see how they vary over time. And you can see how they look now in November 25 to compare to whenever you look at them. Okay, let's look at the claim specification quickly to see what claims get made on each of these drives. First of all, these are all eight terabyte CMR airfield drives spinning at 7,200 RPM. The Exos datasheet states it has four platters and eight heads and other sources imply that the other drives are exactly the same. Where there is an ill variance is in the cache size, with the Toshiba having 512 megs of buffer and claiming 281 megabytes per second. The WD Gold has half that cache size at 256 megabytes, claiming 267 megabytes per second. And then the Seagate also comes in with 256 megabytes of cache, claiming 255 megabytes per second. And we're gonna find out how true all that is because the data sheet performance claims seem to vary greatly in accuracy. And I'm gonna look at the average write and read throughput performance, also with different data profiles, which matters way more than this claim maximum. So let's get right into the performance testing data and see what we find. Each drive was subjected to five types of tests. Large files of 10 gigs written and read, a directory of 5,500 files of mixed sizes written and read, and then a 20% rewrite of those 5,500 files. Deletes were also measured, but I've not included the data here as it isn't super interesting as that's really driven by how fast file metadata is cleaned up rather than the actual removal of data from the platters. Tests were repeated at least 10 times. So each drive has had at least 185 terabytes written to it and 160 terabytes read from it during this testing. So it's a solid data set. Starting with the large file writes, and the immediate thing we see is that the Exos and the WD Gold perform almost identically at the start, but the Toshiba actually does noticeably better. 
at least up to around 30% of its capacity. The Exos then does marginally better for much of the remainder where it makes up ground. Time to complete for this test averaged 11 hours and 2 minutes for the gold and then the Seagate and the MG series were very close with the Exos completing in 10 hours 51 minutes and the MG in 10 hours 50. And this translates to an average performance across the entire disk of 203.2 megabytes per second for the Tosh, 202.8 for the Exos and 199.5 for the Gold. So overall, all very close. If we look at large file read performance, the Exos and the Gold are again quite similar, but the Toshiba has some odd, quite unusual variances for the first 25%. So having tested many drives, the Toshibas do seem to have some unusual performance patterns, uh, but this one does stand out. And each drive seems to have areas of the platter where it does a little better than its peers, except for the WD Gold, which does deliver very consistent performance. But as with all spinning disks, performance drops as the drive starts to write nearer to the center of the platters, where less data can be stored. Time to complete on this test is fastest on the MG series at 10 hours and 19 minutes, with the Exos around half a percent behind at 10 hours 23, and the Gold coming in 2.3% slower than Toshiba at 10 hours and 34 minutes. And this test is where most disks perform best, and we see 213 megabytes per second average on the Toshiba MG, 212 on the Exos, and 208 for the Western Digital. Now, the maximum throughput values here are 292.1 megabytes per second for the Toshiba, 262.6 for the Exos, and 262 exactly for the Western Digital. So all these drives perform in the ballpark of their claim numbers, but the Toshiba exceeds it by the most. And this isn't really a useful number when you compare it to all the averages seen here. But that said, it's a reasonable max throughput figure. It just isn't typical throughput. And it presents what you can expect in the best case for reading data right on the outside of the tracks of the disk. Things get a lot more interesting on the mix write test, and this is a test that Toshiba drives seem to more commonly do badly on. And my guess is it's just how their firmware is tuned. The Toshiba starts out at 185 megabytes compared to 200 on the Exos and around 220 on the Western Digital Gold. The Exos closes on the Gold as the drive fills the inner tracks, but the Toshiba declines in performance more quickly and more evenly, finishing the test at 85 megabytes per second with both the Exos and the Gold closer to 115. For much of the disk capacity, the Seagate and WD will perform significantly better when dealing with mixed write workloads, typical of file shares, with the Western Digital doing the best. There's a fairly large gap here, and it's shown in the time to complete data, with the Toshiba taking 16 hours and 18 minutes compared to just 13 hours and 2 minutes on the Exos and only 12 hours and 13 on the gold. So the gold is a clear winner here with 33% advantage over the Toshiba and 7% over the Exos. Average megabytes per second is 180.1 for the gold, 168.6 on the Exos and only 135 megabytes per second for the Toshiba MG10 series. The Toshiba firmware seems more tuned towards read performance as the roles are reversed on the mixed read test with the Gold the slower drive, although it is marginal. In this test, the Toshiba again has odd variability in the first 20%, but it is faster than the Gold, but then matches the Gold fairly well for the rest of the test. The Exos has the edge for almost the entire test and it performs noticeably better than its peers. And this is clear in the time to complete test where we see that the fastest is the Exos at 11 hours and 2 minutes for an average of 199 megabytes per second, with the Toshiba and the Gold fairly close overall at 11 hours and 36 and 11 hours and 45 respectively, meaning the Toshiba delivers 189 megabytes per second on average with 187 on the WD drive. And finally, the mixed rewrite test where 20% of the files across the entire disk are rewritten. And here again, the Toshiba performs a lot worse than the other drives. The Exos and the WD Gold, on the face of it, are neck and neck, but when we look at the average throughput, the Exos does just edge it out at 179 megabits per second compared to 114.5 on the Gold. The Toshiba, again, comes a distance third here at only 86.3 megabytes per second average. And in this test, the time to complete was 3 hours 45 on the Exos, 3 hours 51 on the Gold, and a considerably longer 5 hours and 6 minutes on the Toshiba. 
And if we score the drives overall by blending the tests together, the result looks like this, with the Exos fastest overall at an average of 190.1 megabytes per second. The WD comes close behind at 188.9, and then the Toshiba coming in at 172.3. So the WD and Seagate are close, but the Toshiba doesn't do as well, primarily I think due to its lower mix write performances. Okay, so let's look now quickly at the power and acoustics because these can be important factors for those who have to live with these drives in their living or workspaces. And starting with the power consumption in watts, and these numbers, by the way, are measured at the wall, and they include a 1.2 watt baseline in every test for the disk enclosure itself. The Toshiba and Gold drives have a similar power consumption, though the Gold is a little higher for the mixed write and rewrite test, where it's half a watt higher than the Toshiba. The Seagate, however, is significantly higher on power consumption than the other two across all tests here, drawing around 13 watts for all these tests to the 10.5 to 11 watts we see on the other drives. For acoustic performance, where the dB was measured in a soundproof box at a range of 5 centimeters from the dB meter, has all drives very similar for large read and write tests here at around 39 dB for the writes and 38.5 for the reads. However, the WD Gold is quite noisy for mixed write tests especially, and to some degree the read mix test. Most of the noise from this drive is from head movement. The WD Gold outperforms the other discs for mixed write tests, and this may be due to a more aggressive setup from the head actuation, which is pretty noisy. My personal observation is that WD drives as a whole are noisier with their head movements, and they have a kind of a deeper noise with the Seagate sounding a bit more chirpy, if that helps. But the WD Gold drives are noticeably noisier when writing collections of smaller files, which need a lot of seeking. Okay, so all the drives are linked below affiliate links, so you can go and check on current prices. If you do buy via an affiliate link, the channel gets a small commission, it doesn't cost you anything, but it does go a small way towards helping the funding of the testing I do with this hardware. If this was useful or interesting, a like is always greatly appreciated as it helps drive the YouTube algorithm and helps get this in front of others also. And of course, please do sub if you like the content. There's a lot more of this coming. Thank you so much for your support and for the comments. I always love to hear about your experience with these and other storage devices. So conclusions. The drives don't typically perform very differently in many cases, but the Toshiba drives seem to lag quite a lot behind for mixed file writes and rewrites. And these are typically operations for file storage and NAS devices. For large file operations, the Toshibas do better if the drive is under 30% full, but after that, the Exos does the best performance-wise for most cases. The WD Gold excels where the Toshiba falls short with good mixed write file performance, and they're significantly faster than the Toshiba. Power-wise, the Exos is far more power-hungry with the other two almost 25% more power efficient in most tests, and this translates mostly to heat also because with electronics this is where most of the power goes. The WD Gold drives are noisiest however which could be linked to their performance on those mixed write tests. If you're using this in a NAS or a device that's always on and you're sensitive to the sound the Exos is probably the best overall for acoustics. Reliability is also important and though these drives were each tested to around 340 terabytes each of reads and writes I can't reasonably test reliability without a large drive sample and years of testing. I do, however, have other videos that cover reliability data on drives using a large data set. Over 300,000 drives, I'm going to link that below. So for me, it's the WD or the Exos, but price is a major factor. So depending what price you can get each for, use the data here to make an informed choice. And thank you for watching to the end. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next.